after a very good performance against Portugal in the second round, we've got another huge game today, this time against Italy in the quarterfinals of the Euros, as we carry on on our journey as I attempt to prove that I'm tailor-made to win the Euros. <laughs> Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And today we've got episode number five of TaylorMade to win the Euros. And what a game it's going to be today. Italy in the quarterfinals of the Euros. By far our toughest challenge we've had yet. I think you would agree, but just before we do get into today's game and we do get into all of that fun stuff, seeing what team we've picked, we've had about six days in between games, so we should be fresh, you would hope. But just before we do get into that, I do just want to say thank you once again to Dodgy Gamer, who's made the database that made this series possible. Please do go and check out his channel and check out his video where he introduces this database. He's got links in his description to all the files you need to download and give this save a go yourself. So please do, please do go over there and say hello. And if you do, please do subscribe because as of recording, he is so close to hitting a thousand subscribers. So please do go over there, say hello, give him a sub, and all of that fun stuff. And yep, as well as that, if you've been enjoying my series so far, please do hit the subscribe button for loads more Football Manager content, TEW content, all a lot of fun stuff is going to be coming to the channel. And so, just before we do get into the game... Let's just have a look and see who is playing who in the quarterfinals. Denmark have got a play against Spain. Belgium have got Slovakia. We've got Italy. And Croatia have got Poland. So, yeah, I think us and Italy is the biggest game in the quarterfinal. Certainly the two biggest teams playing against each other. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the other games. And now, let's go and have a look at and see the players who have been picked for the first 11 for this massive game. We've got Dean Henderson in goal. Chilwell keeps his place at left back. Dyer and Maguire are our rhyming back to centre-back partnership. Alexander-Arnold is at right back. And then in the midfield, we've had to make a couple of changes just because of fatigue. And all of that fun stuff. We've got Deli Ali as a central midfielder. Mazala on attack. Calvin Phillips is the same on the right. And Jordan Henderson is our advanced playmaker. And then up front, we've got Jordan Madison. No, James Madison, sorry. Playing as a shadow striker. And then up front, it's Raheem Sterling back in the team because Rashford and Dominic Calvert-Lewin are a bit knackered. As actually, as we are here back on game day, Calvert-Lewin looks fit. So actually, on the fly, Calvert-Lewin comes back in and so does Rashford. So ignore what I've just said. In fact, this is the team. Henderson in goal. Chilwell, Dyer, Maguire, Arnold at the back four. Ali, Henderson and Phillips are our midfield three. And then up front, it's Rashford as the shadow striker. Calvert-Lewin as the deep line forward. And Harry Kane up front. And that is our team. And that should be the team that could win us this game. I really, really am hoping they do. As in fact, I'm just going to put Grealish on the bench in place of... Uh, let's go, let's go Watkins, sorry mate, but there you go, and that is the team, finally, final answer, lock it in Chris Tarrant, it's in, so let's go into the dressing room, 
here we are in the dressing room and just before we do start this game spain have won their quarter final so as expected they will be in the semi-finals of the euros but as for us i'm once again going to you know what i'm not going to pump my fists actually i'm going to go hands on hands in pockets i want you to pick up where you left off Hmm, not much motivation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, about half the team motivated. So you never know. Prediction time. Uh, two nil us. Come on, I would love a nice, comfortable two nil win. Here I'm on England. Twelve minutes gone in the game, and we've headed the ball away from Italy's throw in. But Pellegrini collects it for them. Goes back to Bonucci. And Bonucci wide to Spinazzola. And what is Spinazzola going to do with the ball? He goes to Lorenzo Insigne. And, well, thankfully, he just passed it back to our man, Chilwell. And Chilwell's going to come forward with it a long way. Goes to Harry Kane. And Harry Kane, he needs a man out wide, ideally. And, thankfully, Ali has gone out wide. We've got a penalty. That's got to be a penalty, ref. De Lorenzo is tripped Deli Ali. And I think the referee is going to go to VAR. But what is the decision going to be? They're checking it. They're checking it twice. They're making sure they're nice, as indeed they have been. And Marcus Rashford is stepping up to take this penalty. I didn't have time to change it to Harry Kane. Come on, Rashford. And Rashford's missed. Oh, no. Oh, that was a glorious chance to take the lead. Oh, no. Oh, but a few minutes later, we've got the ball with a corner and Kane's header has only just been saved. Arnold with a cross. Calvert-Lewin. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has given England the lead. And 18 minutes gone and we have a 1-0 lead. What drama, what roller coaster of emotions here from Rashford's missed penalty to us taking the lead about a minute later. Calvert Lewin with a very nice volley into the far corner there. Another highlight from the kickoff immediately following that goal. Danilo coming forward with it to Pellegrini. Di Lorenzo goes wide. Insigne is in the box. And he's in, he's in, oh, oh, that's awful. How have we not stopped Insigne there? It's going to go down as a Maguire own goal. But that was all down to Lorenzo Insigne. Oh, my days. Oh. What, again, what a roller coaster of emotions. Missed penalty. We've taken the lead. They've equalised through an own goal. It is all happening here. Well, that is half time. What a mad first 20 minutes that was. It's calmed down after that with no highlights. But so far, we have had four shots to their nine, three on target apiece. We've had an XG of 1.27, mainly helped by that penalty, I should imagine, to their 0.74. And they've had a little bit more of their possession. Let's go into the dressing room. And I'm going to say, say to the lads, I'm not happy. Because I don't think we've played that well. And most people motivated. Most people are motivated. So, 45 minutes to go. Can we win this game? Come on. Come on, England. Six minutes into the second half. Alexander-Arnold with a corner. And Maguire's head has been saved. But it's fallen to Harry Kane. And Harry Kane has re-given us the lead. With another very easy goal. I think that's the second tap-in he's had of the tournament. But have a look at this. Have a look at this for a great header from Maguire's header. A great save, sorry, from Maguire's header. And Kane just easily putting that into the back of the net. Just under half an hour to go. And Italy have got a throw in. Spinazzola goes to Insigne. Spinazzola is on the edge of the box. He's crossed it. Zanilo heads it and it goes wide. Just under 25 minutes left to go in the game. We've made two changes. 
James Madison is come on in central midfield for Delhi Alley. And Juan Basica is making his debut in this tournament, replacing Alexander Arnold, who has given everything over the last few games and deserves a little bit of a rest. Hopefully, we can see this game out. Five minutes left. Italy have got to throw in, but we've headed it away. Calvert Lewin to Madison. Goes long to Rashford. And Rashford, can he run at their defence? He can. He's past one man. He's in space. He's in the box. Come on, just put it in the back of the net. And that was a poor finish. You'd expect more from Marcus Rashford there. But now Donnarumma's gone long. Maguire heads away. Calvert-Lewin down to Calvin Phillips. A Serbi clears it long. Zanilo's down past his defender. Zanilo with a shot. And thankfully, that was awful. It is non-stop here at the minute. As once again, we've gone long. Kane has beaten a Serbi to that ball. He needs to pass this. Please pass this to somebody. Gone to Henderson, who's gone to Madison. Penalty! Is that another penalty? No, it's not. Jordan Henderson to Kane. And Kane, yes! Harry Kane puts England into the semi-finals of the Euros. Oh my gosh, what a man. What a performance this has been. Italy, other than their goal, have not really troubled us. And that took a while to get to its end point. But Harry Kane eventually putting the ball in the back of the net. And there are going to be a lot of good nights being had in England this evening. As now Chisea for Italy. Can he just put them good nights on hold for a second? Stefano sends he has. It's 3-2. Oh no. Oh. Please let us see this out. Let us see this out, please. We've got, we've got what, two minutes, maybe three, to see this out. Uh, that was a very, very nice goal from Senzi. As oh, it's another highlight. I would give anything to have no more highlights between now and the end, unless this is going to be a goal. Now, Madison coming forward, plays it through, and Harry Kane, indeed it is. Harry Kane has a hat-trick. Harry Kane has a hat-trick. Harry Kane is determined to see England into the semi-finals. And surely that is what he has done now. Surely there's no way back for Italy. As that was a great pass from Madison through to Kane. Very, very nicely done. Oh, will this game please end? Please. Sensi with the ball to Di Lorenzo. Sensi back to his teammate. Lorenzi goes long, but only as far as Eric Dyer. Ben Chilwell. What can he do? He goes through to Madison. Could we get a fifth? Could we get a fifth here? Madison goes wide to Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips tries to go back to one Basica, but Chisea is in the way. Berardi with the ball. And now, come on, just take it off him. Nope. Chisea, Di Lorenzo, Immobile. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Surely, surely that miss seals it for us. Oh, or maybe not. A minute left to go. Phillips heads away off Italy's throw in. Kane with the ball. Plays it to Madison. And then Rashford. Rashford is through. He's into the box, but his shot has been blocked. Calvert-Lewin. Can he cross this into a box? No, but Chilwell might. And Chilwell coming forward. He's into the box. And oh, is that a penalty? No, no, it's not. Oh, referee. Just blow your whistle. Let us go home. Let us have a very good night here in Germany, please. Immobile to Berardi. Florenzi. Come on, ref. Ref, oh no. Oh. Chisea's header has gone over the bar. And that surely, surely, surely is it. Come on, man in black. Blow your whistle, fella. Please. Phillips with the ball. And yes, that is the final whistle. England 
are in the semi-finals of the Euros. Wow. 4-2 win. 14 shots on target to their 23. 9 on target to their 7. 2.93 XG to their 2.28. And yeah, 46% of possession is all we had. But it does not matter. Let's go outstretched arms. I'm very happy. So is everybody else. We'll go and see who we're going to be playing in the semi-finals. And then I will let you go for today. Oh my gosh. You could not make it up. It's another semi-final. It's another semi-final against Croatia. Would you Adam and Eve it? No, you wouldn't. Oh, my gosh. Well, that is what you've got to look forward to in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this video and this series so far, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2021 content. And let me know in the comment section, do you think we're going to win this game? Let me know. How do you think we're going to get on against Croatia? We have already beaten them in this competition. Can we do it again? Let me know in the comments. And as well as all that good stuff, follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. And that is all for today. I shall see you next time. Come on, England.